Hello friends, in this video, we will see a problem based on compound and simple interest. So let us consider a problem. So the difference between compound and simple interest acquired on an amount of acquired an amount of 18,000 in two years in two years was 405 rupees 405 rupees okay so the difference between compound interest and simple interest is 405 rupees which is acquired on 18,000 in two years so what was the rate of interest then we have to find the what was the rate of interest so we have to find the value of the r okay so we have to find the value of the r so the the difference between compound interest and simple interest so the given principal amount is how much 18000 and the n value or t value is equivalent to 2 years n value i mean in compound interest we are using n in simple interest we are using t that's why n and t value is equivalent to 2 so now the compound interest we got is the compound interest we got is the amount uh, the compounded amount minus the amount we got minus p so the compounded amount we got is given by p into that is 18000 into 1 plus the rate of interest we do not know that one we have to find by 100 to the power of n so that is 2 minus the principal amount so that is 18000 so this is the compound interest we got okay so p into 1 plus r by 100 to the power of n and we have substituted the p value and r value we have to find and n value we have substituted so this one will be the compounded amount from that compounded amount we subtract that principal amount so then we will get the compound interest minus we have to find the simple interest simple interest is given by p t r by 100 p is 18000 given and t is 2 years into r we have to find that one by 100 so this one is equivalent to 405 is equivalent to 405 so we have to calculate this equation to find the value of the rate of interest okay so rate of interest so that is going to be so i am 18000 is everywhere there so i am taking 18000 common from everything so 18000 into so this is going to be 100 plus r by uh, 100 plus r by so this is going to be 10,000 100 plus whole square minus 18,000 is 1 again and minus from this 18,000 we took so we will get 2 r by 100 is equal to 405 equal to 405 now, so 18,000 into 100, uh, 100 plus a square, so that is going to be 10,000 plus b square, that is r a square plus 2ab, so that is going to be 200r by 10,000. So if we take all LCM is 10,000, so this is going to be minus 10,000 and then so 100 so that is going to be minus 200 r is equal to 405 is equal to 405 so this is going to be 10,000 10,000 cancer 200 or 200 r is cancer okay so three zeros three zeros is cancer and two fives are okay two nines are okay so that is going to be so 9 by 5 r square is equal to 405 okay 405 so that is going to be equal to so r square is equal to 405 into 5 by 9 okay 3 3 ja 9 3 1 ja 3 3 ja 9 and 3 5 ja 15 okay 3 into 3 4 ja 12 and 3 5 ja 45 5 
is going to be 4 into 5 is 20 and 5 is 20. So that is going to be 225. So but this is the value of r square is equal to 225. Then r is equal to 15 square is 225. So r is the rate of interest is 15 percentage. The rate of interest is 15 percentage. So if the difference between compound interest and simple interest is 405 on amount 18,000 in two years, so then the rate of interest is the rate of interest is 15 percentage. The rate of interest is 15 percentage. So I hope you got this one. Thank you very much for watching this video and please subscribe to my channel. If you have any doubt, please leave a comment. Thank you.